Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to automatically back up your files to Dropbox. Go ahead and click on SyncToy. SyncToy uses a left and a right folder. Left folder is the folder you're backing up. Right folder is the destination of your backup, which is Dropbox in this case, a cloud storage. So click on Create New Folder Pair. and I'm gonna browse for my documents my document select it and click OK now my right folder is gonna be Dropbox folder which is in a cloud and select Dropbox here I can select Dropbox or a subfolder that I have created inside my Dropbox. Avoid errors. And click OK. Click Next. And I prefer Echo. Any changes I make will be repeated onto the right. So if I delete, it will be deleted to the right. I prefer this one, this option. Now name your folder pair my documents backup in my case and click finish and it's done my documents backup now let's say I want to add another folder all I need to do is create a new folder pair per folder or per file I need to create a new folder pair. Click on Browse. In this case, let's use uh, my videos. And click OK. So now I'm going to save my, video, my videos to Dropbox. Click Browse. And then look for your Dropbox in your documents and remember I can uh, leave it in Dropbox or add a subfolder and save it there now in this case I'm just gonna leave it as is synchronize and click next now I can name it just like we did before but for this tutorial I'm gonna cancel this and you don't need to click on run since we're gonna do this to be automatically you can close sync toy and now click on start and on the search type run or if you if you're using Windows XP just click on run is to the right now on the run type the word task s c h d dot msc schd dot msc and click OK now it's gonna open the task scheduler here click on action and now click on create basic task we're gonna name this sync toy backup and then click next and now I can choose daily weekly or monthly in this tutorial I'm gonna use daily backup and click next now here I'm gonna choose a time when when I'm not on the computer which is 12 a.m. <laughs> believe it or not I'm always on the computer okay 12 a.m. so now click on next this time my computer is on but I'm not on my computer click next
and click start program and keep in mind that to run this the computer has to be on now where it says programs I'm gonna click on browse and I'm gonna browse for the executable file that is on drive C programs folder so click on your drive C and then double click programs files and here look for sync toy double click there now you have to select the sync toy executable if you're not sure which one is which you can always show the file extension so just click on start this is if you're not sure go to control panel in the control panel go to folder options when you open the folder option click on the view tab and here where it says hide extension for un for known file types remove the check mark and click apply click OK now close the control panel window and go back to your sync toy folder all you need to do is right click refresh and you can see the extension and here it is sync toy.exe select it and then click open now where it says add arguments type minus R and click next now click finish now it says that uh, my backup is gonna run every day at 12 a.m. thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel feel free to email me if you have any questions thank you